Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. I just did a reading for you. The camera was glitching. The picture was going out. The battery died. What's happening Libra? It's not a go What's going on? Is there a lot? like going on in your life right now let's see where's libra right now now i can't talk okay so ooh, libra what's happening yeah four of wands okay so something around the home maybe a circle of women also it's like i don't know maybe you work with a lot of women um it talks about reunion uh, coming back home, feeling good, feeling like you want to take loved ones out, celebration, eloping, okay? Um, let's see, what is around or surrounding Libra? The three of swords, so not having a conversation, breakdown in communication, lack or little to none, no conversation about a certain something or someone something that was stirring up trouble within the relationship or someone this also is like misrepresentation miscommunication we don't talk because it always gets my words are always miscommunicated misrepresented why even even have a conversation this could be about divorce like something about your home life is getting out Libra or it's out but you don't want to have the conversation about it Let's see what's going on for Libra. What is happening for Libra? The seven of wands. Yeah, it's like you're really defensive. Standing your ground. Taking a minority position. Even if, you know, everybody else is on the, the other side. The majority. It's like you're willing to fight for what you have. So this could be a relationship. Something's going on at home. There has been talks or a talk of a relationship. Like a relationship ending or marriage ending, separation, divorce. Something got misrepresented, misinterpreted. What's happening here for Libra? What does Libra need to know? The Ace of Swords. So some complete truth and clarity is coming to you or it will be spoken. It's something about the irrevocable, doing the irrevocable, the inevitable. So it says that maybe you knew that or you know that you know that you're going to eventually have to do this have a conversation about it or move forward on it i don't know doing the irrevocable taking an inevitable step towards what you already knew you was going to have to do maybe there was delay it's like you're coming to know to a knowing of uh with the ace of swords that um clarity the truth of the matter yeah, the world card, not the world, but the world egg. This is the fool card. Maybe following your heart's desire. I don't know. You can no longer be foolish about something or take the position of I didn't know or nine of wands coming out. You can no longer act like something isn't when it really is that somebody's separated or someone wants to separate. Um, you can no longer act like separation, divorce hasn't been on the table. It hasn't been talks of. And this could even be in the workplace. Or this could be in your home life. So it's like you can no longer act as if that is not happening for you. That is not a reality with the nine of wands here. It's like, it's like a lot of waffling type of energy. You're going back and forth and you're folding on decisions made in your mind and then you go back on it yeah so this is like falsehood the ten of cups and the lovers maybe trying to create this false dynamic of happiness you know to the world with the ten of cups the lovers it says that maybe something or someone has come in between a relationship an existing relationship it could be just a sexual connection for someone the health of a relationship is dwindling. It's, it's you know, dissipating. You need help. You need interjection. You need someone else to come in and maybe help. 
you have called a truce with maybe a standoff in your relationship. Like you were standing your ground, the other person was standing their ground. You, you both are calling the truce, and you're going to try to make it work. And and you know, for the health of of the relationship, there's still some underlying issue here. What do we want to tell Libra? As far as moving forward, so this just looks like somebody go back and forth with this whole, I'm getting a divorce, I'm not getting a divorce, we're making it work, we're going to therapy, we're getting a divorce. Okay, we took some time apart, we went on a vacation, we're going to make it work. Oh my God, he's left the house, thank God, he's staying at his apartment and I'm here at the house. Yeah, this is like a lot of waffling and going back and forth forth on something and it's a lot of oh I'm going to stay at this job but though I'm looking for another one oh if they pass me up again I'm leaving but then you stay yeah I, so when it's darkest out of the dark comes the light so it's like maybe it was a dark time in your marriage you choose to make it work you have full moon combustible but there's a lot of energy here that maybe you guys are unspoken energy of needing to release something needing to say something maybe the feminine energy needs to say something here uh, when it's darkest, okay, um, out of the dark, comes, so something comes to light also, with the Ace of Swords, you get some clarity about something, somebody speaks their truth, like, yes, I do sometimes want to divorce or separate, or I don't feel like it's working, I don't know, some, you have like a real conversation, because there was like an avoidance also, um, yeah, the King of Wands, maybe somebody does what they want to do, this could be a husband figure, uh, something about sex and sex drive, a strong sex drive that somebody has here. The King of Wands. The King of Wands is known to have that same sex drive up until old age, you know. Um, so somebody's got like a strong sex drive. The home also coming out. Also, someone is tied to the home. It's like, yeah, if you leave, but you can leave, but you're gonna leave this house. You're not taking the house. You won't get the house or something of that of that matter. Or I'm not leaving the house. Or we can separate. You live on the other side of the house. I live on this side. I don't know. It's something about the house, the home, um, home life. Um, this is spontaneity. I can never say that word. It's being spontaneous. Um, this is karma also. Let's see. What is going on? It's like maybe somebody speaking their truth. That maybe there was a... Okay, cheating, apply. Somebody's applying. Oh, they filed the, the papers or someone saying you can go file the papers. Yeah, page of cups. Something about some business matter. Apply. Maybe you need to, what is this? Triplets. Somebody could want more children. Someone could want more children or another child or children. The Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. Someone could say, let's reconcile. Let's get back together. We can do this. We can make it work. Yeah, we can make it work. Um, this may have been a situation that You've given chance after chance after chance after chance. Someone doesn't want the other person to get away. Oh, so it's like, this is like somebody has more than the other or offers more than the other. What is this about? Opportunity, yeah. Maybe the opportunity to reconcile, opportunity, or this person presents opportunity. If they leave, then, you know, maybe the opportunity for money, for growth goes with them. Yeah, the opportunity for success. Maybe you guys, if you do, within the next few months, if you go through counseling, if you really do this, you can have success. Um, there's something better here. Don't stop. There will be a peaceful resolution. Okay, so you guys can resolve this. If you're feeling like you want a divorce, it says no, a definite no with the exclamation point there. So, if you feel like you want to walk away, don't walk away. It's not time to walk away. Don't stop. There's peaceful resolution. There's something better on the side of mitigating these circumstances of, you know, not getting along right now. What does the future look like for um, Libra? Just keep going at something. Don't let it go. Just keep going. Ten of Cups. 
the two of swords that's your energy what you don't see is success but you gotta learn how to cooperate negotiate compromise it's been like a power struggle the eight of swords the queen of swords so it's, i don't know maybe you guys you feel like it's false in the near future um there's a lot of falsehood it's not real and you may even go have this might even resurface Maybe with the King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. You got all these swords. So it's definitely about love or money or or both with the tower. So you come back to having this conversation again. You come back to trying to resolve this again. The tower. Somebody's this so it just doesn't get resolved. It's not like a forever a one and fix, a one and done. So I don't know, you might always be working on this. This could even be that, you know, the both both her parties don't want the same thing. She could be trying to assert herself, her independence. And this is a guy who's saying, I know I got us. I run us. I'm the head. You don't have to do that. What you're trying to do is I heard null and void or it voids out what I'm trying to do. So that's where we have lack of cooperation. Because somebody wants to be like a career woman or do something or get out there or put herself first or her needs or her wants or her desires first. And it's like maybe the man is saying, no, again, we're back at this again with the tower card. And maybe the woman feels stifled, um, you know, stuck in some type of clingy, toxic relationship where there's no movement. And the inevitable Maybe it is that, you know, you guys are growing apart. I don't know. This is what I have for you, Libra. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You could buy me a coffee. If you took something from the reading, you could definitely give something back. You could buy me a coffee. I love coffee. Uh, the link is below. If you're a business-minded individual, you can always go ahead and schedule your complimentary discovery call with me to see if I could be your business coach, your mentor, to get you to the place where you want to be in, in, in career or business or entrepreneurship, all right? Catch me live every Tuesday and Thursday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take care. Many blessings to you. Bye.